YouTube and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a cowboy dip. Uh, this recipe comes uh, from my sister. She will usually end up making it for holidays or get togethers or game nights. Um, it's a crowd pleaser as long as everybody there eats meat. Now I do have another sister who does not eat meat and I know that uh, this is made for her um, without meat and she likes it as well. Um, it's more like just a queso at that point, but to each their own. Um, we start out by using one roll of sausage, um, that's ground sausage, and it can be anything that you like as far as hot, medium, mild. Um, this dish is really easy to cater towards uh, your personal needs or preferences. Um, so we're just gonna brown off uh, one roll of sausage, and this is almost done. In fact, I'm going to finish uh, browning this and go get my crock pot because I'll need that for the next step. All right, guys, I will see you when I'm ready for the next step. All right, my sausage has uh, browned and I, um, I didn't drain it. Like I said, there was not that much fat on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my crock pot. My crock pot is on medium heat for right now. And then I'm also going to add one brick of Velveeta cheese. I have one can of black beans. Now this my sister didn't uh, say was in the recipe, but I thought I'd add it to be special. <laughs> I also thought a can of corn would be good here, but my husband doesn't care for corn, so I thought eh, we'll just leave it out for tonight. And I have one jar of salsa. I think we have the medium. Yeah, we like medium around here. Get a little spice, but nothing that's gonna burn you too bad. I'm adding an entire jar of salsa. All right, I've got that on medium, uh, medium heat to start off with. And I'm just gonna try to stir it a little bit. It's not too easy to stir right now, but once that cheese gets all nice and melty, this is going to be delicious. Truth be told, guys, I asked for this recipe and I never thought to ask uh, my sister what setting my crock pot should be on. So I will test it out now and I will put it in the description box below or I'll just say it at the end of the video how long or how high of a heat um, this is on. For right now, I'm leaving it on uh, low and I'm gonna let it go for about a half an hour, kinda see where I'm at and I'll make a judgment call at that point. But I'll kinda bring you back at uh, different points to just show you and, and tell you how long it's been in the crock pot for. So I will see you um, in a little bit then. And oh yeah, I'm gonna cover this for sure. So that way all that cheese gets nice and melty. All right guys, it's been about a half an hour and I can see my cheese is not melting um, quite as fast as I'd like. So I am going to turn this up on high uh, while stirring it, kind of trying to get some of that cheese spread around. See, it is melting. It's just not as fast as I'd like. I'm guessing it's about two hours on high, four hours on low, but that's a guesstimate. Um, it is <laughs> torrential raining outside right now and thundering and oh i don't know if you heard that it was a pretty good thunder boomer uh thundering and lightning so i'm praying that we don't lose power and so i've got electric heat so even a backup stove top uh method wouldn't really work in this case so let's hope the lights stay on so my crock pot can keep cooking um, i'm going to turn it up to high and keep the lid on it and i'll come back in about another half an hour stir it and kind of update you guys all right guys, I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half and you can see the cheese is, is much better melted or it's melting much better. I can't talk. I don't care for storms and I don't know. It's pretty bad out there right now. <laughs> um, I hope the lighting isn't too bad. I've got all the lights on in the kitchen and the living room, but if you could see it outside, you'd swear it was about 9, 10 o'clock at night. Um, like I said, my cheese is just about melted. You can tell there's some areas in the middle here where it's not quite 
up to par. Um, I'm just giving it a quick stir. I'm gonna leave it sit for about another half hour and then hopefully my husband will be home and we can eat this up for dinner. I'll bring you back when I'm completely when it's completely finished. All right, that it completes my video. This has been kind of a trial. Um, like I said, I've never actually made this recipe. This was my sister's. She makes it usually, um, but I've had it before and it's delicious. I'm gonna be serving it up with just some tortilla chips and I think my husband and I are gonna have a movie night and have this as kind of like a snacky type dinner. I mean, it's really nachos essentially, um, but the flavor combination with the salsa and the sausage is just kind of different. We really like it around here. Um, I hope you guys give it a try. It's delicious. And uh, shout out to my sister. Thank you so much for the recipe. And if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time, guys, I will see ya.